Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, December 21st. Thank you for joining. Let's begin with prayer. Father God, we praise your name and we give all the glory to you. And we are thankful once again for the opportunity to spend some time with you in prayer, in learning what message you have for each and every one of us. We pray, Father God, that your message always penetrates our heart, that we listen with open ears, that we have an open mind, and that we encourage others by sharing your word. We love you, Father God, and we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. We are in Ecclesiastes 8, 1 through 8, with titles such as The Wisdom of Obedience, Wisdom Leads to Delight, Letting Go of Control, Managing Our Disappointment. So it's actually a lot about wisdom. Having wisdom, praying about wisdom, and sharing our wisdom. Who is like the wise? Who knows the explanation of things? A person's wisdom brightens their face and changes its hard appearance. Obey the king. Obey the king's command, I say, because you took an oath before God. Do not be in a hurry to leave the king's presence. Do not stand up for a bad cause, for he will do whatever he pleases. Since a king's word is supreme, who can say to him, what are you doing? Whoever obeys his command will come to no harm, and the wise heart will know the proper time and procedure. For there is a proper time and a procedure for every matter, though a person may be weighed down by misery. Since no one knows the future, who can tell someone else what is to come? As no one has power over the wind to contain it, so no one has power over the time of their death. As no one is discharged in time of war, so wickedness will not release those who practice it. In 1 through 4, what we learn is seeking wisdom for the sake of refreshing those around us, not for our own self amongst others. So we, we, want, to have, we want to have wisdom so that we can share that wisdom with others. We don't want to keep our wisdom to ourselves because we don't want others to keep their wisdom from us either. Gain wisdom studying God's word and delighting in his presence. Spend time with God. Pray about having wisdom and pray about using that wisdom to encourage others. We are blessed when others share their wisdom with us. So we want to share our own wisdom with others. It can be something as simple as, look what I found. Look what I found when I was out shopping. Share that with someone. Maybe they're looking for the same thing. Or maybe they just want to know where to get bargains also. Even the simplest things, if you know it, let's not keep it as a secret. Let's share it with others. And then others are encouraged to share their wisdom with you also. It's a blessing. It's a two-way street. So be encouraged and be an encourager. Share what you know with others. Of course, number one, sharing God, sharing the Bible, sharing that with others to comfort others and encourage others. But it can be as simple as, look what I found. Or if some, you know someone's looking for something, tell them where they might be able to get it. In five through eight, five says, the wise heart will know the proper time and procedure. The wisest men and women seek God's will, God's timing, God's method. And think about the times that God has pulled you through something. And maybe you were anxious, anxious, anxious. And then all of a sudden, your prayers are answered. And then it's like, Father God, I'm so thankful that you didn't answer my prayer sooner. That this was the perfect timing for my prayer to be answered. So always go to God when you're in a situation. But be prepared that it will be in God's timing when he answers our prayers. Live in obedience and the future will take care of itself. Always remember it's God's will and it's God's way. And that's always perfect. Always perfect. We, If we got something as soon as we asked for it, there could be some like not so good consequences. But that's not going to happen because we will, our prayers will be answered in God's timing and in God's way. Find peace in God's sovereignty. He will take care of us. 
continually. Even when we are lost and we're thinking God is not there, God is there. But we just need to be patient. Even with our burdens, our brokenness, and feeling beaten up, we are a people of hope. So rely on that hope. Rely on God's promises. God is faithful to us. He loves us. He doesn't want to see us struggle. But there is a proper time for everything. We learn more in our suffering than from times of celebration. When we're celebrating everything, we just think everything is fine, fine, fine and dandy. We may even think that we don't need God because everything is going so well. But it is when we are suffering that we learn to depend on God. And it is very and most important that when you are suffering, go to God first. Don't go to your friends or your neighbors. Go to God first. And then maybe you can even share with a co-worker or a friend or another family member what you are learning through your prayer with your particular situation. Times of suffering are times of reflecting on our priorities. So think about what are our priorities? Are our priority, are our priorities God spending time with him, having relationship with him, going into his word, seeking him, maintaining a relationship with him? What are our priorities? Continually pray for wisdom and share that godly wisdom with others. Share God. Even in, even in just your actions, share God. Share who God is in your life so that you can be blessed and so that you can be a blessing to others. I want to share my blessings for this past week. So this past week, of course, I was out shopping and three times someone who was in line with me started sharing with me, started talking with me. The last person that I was sharing, she was sharing with me, I was sharing with her. And she said, I usually, the store was very crowded. And she says, I usually come first thing in the morning, but I decided to, to have a breakfast, to treat myself with breakfast this morning. So that's why I'm running so late. And I said to her, well, since you're running late, you're meeting many more people. And she goes, you know what? You're right. She says, I've met you. Thank you. And you have a good day. So I felt so blessed that three times complete strangers shared with me and I was able to share with them. Sharing can be so simple. So share something, something simple, or, you know, we always want to share Jesus, but share something simple to get in the habit of sharing, period. There's many more people out there at this Christmas season. Many more people to share. Many people out there are anxious and frustrated and tired, exhausted, and thinking about how much longer are they going to be standing in this line. The lines can be ridiculous at this time of year. But each time I spoke to these three individuals, I was standing in a crowded line. So use that opportunity to share and share Jesus if, if that opportunity comes up also. Always be ready to share Jesus. Always be ready to share your heart. You know, when you share, whether it be Jesus or just something simple, someone gets a feeling from you that you're an, you're a um, encouraging person. You're a kind person. You're a smiling person. And that could lead, lead to other questions, other observances. So always lead with a smile. And don't be afraid to open up your heart and share with someone while you're standing in those lines this week. Let's pray. Father God, we pray that each and every one of us, particularly this week, which will be a crazy, crowded week. We pray, Father God, that any opportunities that come across our paths, that we take advantage of them, Father God. That we use these opportunities to share you, to share a smile with someone, to encourage someone to bring hope to someone. We pray, Father God, that we do not let these opportunities pass by without encouraging someone, without blessing someone. We pray, Father God, for every opportunity that you place in our paths 
to be used by you, Father God, to be a gift to others. We love you, Father God, and we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Have a week filled with blessings. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the season. God bless you. Bye-bye.